I hope it works that way. I don't even know if it works that way. Actually, it's 8, 16, 32. So how the heck do you get crazy numbers like that in Marvel Snap? Well, the Iron Onslaught deck here makes it possible. This is a deck I've been playing early in the closed beta for Marvel Snap. And although it's certainly not perfect or complete, given that I have a limited access to cards, there are still some really cool, fun synergies, as you saw, possible here thanks to the utilization of the ongoing keyword. If we take a look at Onslaught here, he has an ongoing effect. It's an aura that persists throughout the game and it doubles your other ongoing effects. And then you've got Iron Man with an ongoing effect that doubles your power. So this doubles your power and then Onslaught doubles that and there can't even be locations that double all of that again. On top of that, there are other ongoing payoffs like Spectrum, which just buffs all of your ongoing cards and mid game stuff like Kazar that has an ongoing buff for various one drops. Captain America has an ongoing buff at his location. Punisher and Mr. Fantastic also have some nice ongoing buffs and some filler cards here just for the lack of good ongoing early game options. So all in all, I do not think this is going to be like the best deck. I was able to play it to a lot of wins early in the closed beta, but I've already found other decks that seem to surpass it from a power level standpoint. But if you have an Onslaught and Iron Man laying around whenever you finally get access to Marvel Snap, this can certainly create some highlights and I think you'll have fun watching this deck in action as well. That said, let's jump into the games. Is there a perfect curve? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's perfect as it can be, right? I don't have a good, like, useful uh, two cost or one cost ongoing card, but. Oh, this can be spicy with payoff cards like Onslaught. So sometimes you don't want to occupy that spot with weaker cards. But also, you know, how many cards total am I going to play there is the other question. Let's not waste the spot just yet. I, again, though, two sixes, man. I, I don't know how I keep drawing this. It's crazy. It's the only sixes I have, you know? It's not like I'm rocking a million sixes here. So, oh. Oh, well. That's pretty spicy. Suddenly, I could play both of these over here. All right. We're tied mid, but they're locked on a spot. I only have one spot left. That's a good advantage. Negative three power. Oh, God. Sinister London actually becomes a bit of a risk now. Because if I get a card positioned there, it, it, I guess it's not here, though, because it's still kind of free, right? Yeah, this is still kind of free. I want to put Kazar here and these two here. So I can put Colossus here. That should be fine. Just maximize the effect of this. This is sort of perfect. Uh, we want to play Onslaught prior to Spectrum, I guess, right? So, yeah, it, it's, it, if it's negative, if it's three or less, that's where it becomes a real issue. Oh my God, we could also play Iron Man here. Wow. Dude, it's gotta be Iron Man next turn, right? That's insane. Iron Man into Onslaught on that side is just going to absolutely farm, dude. <laughs> okay. Dude, this is so gross, dude. <laughs> um, it doesn't even really matter. Iron Man here will be sufficient, so that's fine. Um, it's all good. Dude, this is the craziest location ever. <laughs> They're not playing enough here. They should like Blue Marvel in particular there, I think would have been pretty nice, right? Oh, we got a snap by the way. Oh. Duplicate onslaught. And actually, since we can play, we know we can. Oh, these are hurt me though. They hurt me there. We don't want those. They add negative one. All right. That's going to be 8 million. Well, I guess 32. Well, no, more than that. Well, six. 56. Onslaught goes to three over there. So we actually tie. Woo! That's, oh no, we don't tie, they gained. Sad. Spicy, dude. God, they had a good final turn, honestly. In the in normal world of Snap, that would be an insane turn. They just played a ridiculous amount of power, but this was a ridiculous combo. 
Cool. I don't really know yet either. I'm having a lot of fun is all I can say so far. As for how long that will last or how that will scale, I have no idea either. But you're not hurting anybody's feelings, don't worry. That's how all games are. You see how they go. Move all cards here to other random locations. Okay. So that's going to be kind of dumped out of on five. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is hard. Like, I don't know how to play Strange Academy, dude. It's hard. When you play a card here, shuffle three rocks into your deck. Okay. Dude, they're snapping already. Are you kidding me? Like, I honestly don't have a very good hand, and I'm floating two mana, so there's something to the snap here, but... Um... Why did that just get... What just happened, dude? Oh, what on earth is hap- Add a random card to each player's hand. I don't know what just- Why did that play there? Oh, I have Agatha in hand. What? Agatha starts in your hand and plays your cards for you? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get to play because of a randomly generated Agatha. Are you joking? <laughs> it's unbelievable, dude. Yeah, she's a 613, so that's a mighty big stat we're going to dump on turn six, but will it be enough, right? I don't know. Captain America's good with the rocks. I kind of wish she'd played the rock on Captain America's spot. Um, to power him up, you know? Okay. Now, does she play herself on six? Like, how does that work? Or am I allowed to play her? Like, once we get to six? I, God knows. I don't know. Hopefully she goes on the left once it's been cleaned out. Because she'll win left always based on her raw... Stat line, I think. But will I win mid? Might depend on where these go. Yeah, I think we should give left and play Hagatha, or give right and play Hagatha to the left. Yeah, that's exactly what I would have done, Hagatha. Yes! Let's go! Hagatha, you're the best! I think I'm saying Hagatha because of Hearthstone. <laughs> wow, dude! <laughs> Can they take? There's no way, right? 24 has got to be too big of a lead, right? Oh, God, it's close, though. I don't know. Is that a rock or a real card? <laughs> uh... Oh, it's 27. Oh, my God. So close, dude. Wow. <laughs> Agatha's better than I am at this game, dude. That was fun. Ah. Uh... Ugh. It's not a waste to get a copy of cards put on the spot. It's a tempo waste. It's not It's not value waste. But see what I'm saying? Like you sacrifice mana and tempo and there's a very limited amount of mana in these games because it's fixed six turns and fixed mana per turn. So when you spend mana or energy, it's called. When you spend energy in a spot where you don't need any more points, you're not able to spend that energy in a spot where you might need points, right? Now, there is the argument, of course, that... Um, Maybe they maybe they had such an empty hand or such low cost cards in hand it was free anyway, sure. But on average Oh my, Medusa's good there. It's really the only like on reveal effect I have, so it's kinda good that it's in the middle. I guess I have um Spectrum too, which if we get that would be nice. Where's when this location is three power at the others? Sure, sure. That's a good Iron Man play sometimes, right? Because Iron Man can almost always win a location. Well, you hope anyway, not always, but you, uh, theoretically can win locations pretty well. And then, um, the Devil Dinosaur. Yeah, we can give left again. Not as worried about that. Nightcrawler's a great curve fill here. 
Dump Iron Man here as needed. Maybe I, uh, for now, actually put Nightcrawler in the mid, because I can always move him, and then I'm not super overcommitted. Still in the lead here, still hedging here a little, and I can move him as needed for Iron Man next turn. Just in case I want to shore up mid, right? I have a little more option. They might decide to give up right because I'm like committing more there. They don't. Okay. <laughs> they do not give up right. Um, so yeah, probably probably go ahead and win Iron Man there. That's going to also kill that lizard. Might be a little overkill. I could maybe just go... Assemble. Boy, Kazar is good too. I could save Iron Man for the Medusa there. That's a 12 spot. Um, I can play Kazar and Colossus next turn, so I should play Iron Man now. I just have to decide where to put it. I think if I go Iron Man mid, I think with Kazar and Nightcrawler, I can always win here, right? Because if I go to four, Lizard gets debuff. This gets bigger if they commit. That's for sure I can win there. So I should play Iron Man mid, and then I'll have an option next turn for these two. Like this, they may they may hedge mid here and not commit there, but if they do, I can play two here or move Nightcrawler over as well. We can kind of shift as we need with Nightcrawler, right? Yeah, I like this. Is this what it looks like on PC? Not really. This is an, a mobile emulator. I, I'm technically playing on a PC, but no, there's going to be a PC client. We just don't know yet what that looks like. Okay. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. So this is nine. 18. There's no way they're catching 18. This gives me, I don't know, a huge lead, right? 8, 11, I don't know, even more than that. Yeah. I feel good about this, right? I feel really good about this. I just don't, they barely played anything. What have they even done? Why aren't they snapping? I'm surprised. It might be a bot. America cannot possibly do enough, right? There's just no way. Because Lizard's losing stats. Lizard gets debuffed if my side is full, right? Yeah, 20 to 13 suddenly. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Iron Man clutching it. <laughs> you love Ben Brode. <laughs> Yeah. I don't really know Ben, honestly. We've only ever barely interacted on Twitter and stuff. But he seems cool. I mean, it seems awesome, right? Everybody loves him, I think. Dream Dimension. Kazar could fill curve on five. Can I give a brief explanation of how the game works? Um, yeah, there's... Three spots, you're trying to win each spot by having a higher number than your opponent. Um, if you win two, you win the game. You play cards to spots. There's only... Oh, dude, that sucked. Oh, Rock Raccoon gone. There's only four spots per spot. <laughs> so you have to be really careful about positioning and, you know, so on. End of turn three, transform into one of the other locations. Oh my. <laughs> Neither of those are very exciting to transform into. <laughs> like you either lose a card or maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy to have an advantage here though if it goes for the destroy, because, um, what does the Punisher do? I forget, oh, that's that's just the Punisher, but different art, yeah, yeah, yeah. I discarded a card again. Oh, they lost their spectrum and so did I, right? Is that what I had? Yeah, I can lose my Punish or my Quicksilver. That's totally fine. I mean, I, I think they might think I'm going to play there and try to beat them, right? This is this is such a mind game because I could go for seven and try to beat them here. 
Problem is, their Punisher scales as, as I do it, so it wouldn't take much for them to beat me there. So I think I just try to win the other two spots and say, screw it. Yeah, they did commit, so yeah, we we um, we made the right call. I just sacrificed that Quicksilver. It was like, yeah, whatever. Take that spot. It's fine. We're going to win the other two, right? Um, Yeah, let's shore this up. This is the smaller advantage right now. Let's shore this one up. If they commit here to beat this guy, we can punish her. Namor. Wow. Namor single-handedly tying, dude. That's actually insane. <sighs> I got a problem now, right? <laughs> got a big problem now, dude. Do they go mid? No, if they go mid, they can't go mid because that'll screw Namor and then they'll basically not gain anything. So they have to go right, right? They have to go right because they don't want to screw the Namor. So I, I got to They got to Can they beat right with a single card, though? It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Yeah, Colossus can't be moved or destroyed. Namor gains five if he's the only card. <sighs> they might they might get this like really sneaky play where they play a six cost here and say screw the right. I, I can't snap. I don't know. This is actually really close. Yeah, they went right. Surely I can beat this then. This has got to be a bot. You never play left here. It doesn't do anything. You should always play that here, right? Did I? Oh, I did win. Okay. Okay. I just realized I don't know if I have a big enough lead. Yeah, I won nine to eight. Oh my god. So maybe play that there wasn't wrong if you know you're tying here, actually. That's not necessarily wrong. You could try to gain a bigger advantage, eh? They went up to eight and I went up to nine. This is really close. Either way, they split those, I guess, would have done the same too. We'll be revealed next turn, that big white space. Oh, oh my. I feel like I might want to lower my curve a little bit. I feel like I keep hitting my sixes very often. Might just be some variance here, but. Oh my, that's actually great to have Kazar right now. We can even put Kazar on the left. No turn three right now, just a Quicksilver. Lady Sif into Apocalypse. I want to see him! No! <laughs> I don't know what Apocalypse does, dude. Um, okay. We can maybe play Kazar there as well. I can actually put in this Quicksilver because I can always move the Nightcrawler out if needed, right? I don't actually have to commit to this, this locked spot just yet. Um, this curve is so bad, though. I keep hitting sixes every time, twice. I hate running only one six because you want some redundancy, I think, in your big payoff card, but man. So can I pull this back with Kazar in the mid? I only gained four, but Onslaught could actually make that another four to pull it to 12. Destroying Ironheart doesn't really do anything. It's just, are they going to commit a spot here to try to eat that Colossus, right? I have an interesting line here. I think I can maybe win this and gain here. The question is, am I sacrificing too much in that case? Next turn, I play Fantastic Mid by opening up that spot. I have Onslaught on Kazar later to gain even more. They could play a four for six, but I think it's pretty unlikely. Oh, that's fine, yeah. So this move did matter, by the way. I got to kill that, that was great. Okay. Oh, well that doesn't die, I guess, yeah, never mind. It doesn't matter at all. So am I going to win this if I play Onslaught to the left? I'll gain three mid. It would only put me a 10. No. So I can put Iron Man mid and then stack left later. I think that's the move, right? We're actually going to give up maybe right. They may have to contest it a little bit, though, so they kind of waste a resource here, but we're going to give it and push left with Onslaught next turn, right? So that's going to put 11 here, and it's going to stack this up a ton. It'll even buff this a little as well. Because Kzar will get doubled. Yeah, I think that's right. 
This goes to 14, and it'll go even further once we drop Onslaught. Yeah, that should be good. Because they still have to contest right, right? They don't, they don't know that we're actually winning mid, so they have to put something right, and we're actually committing left. We're trying to win left. We don't even care about right that much. And it's still close is what's crazy. So we're gaining here, actually gaining here a little, but not enough. And I think we'll almost certainly win here. So yeah, we should be good to go. Iron Onslaught. They, there's no single card that beats 11, right? Oh. I've never even seen this before. <sighs> this is famous, famous last word snap, dude. I've never even seen an apocalypse in my life. I tried to look at it earlier and I didn't get a chance. Ah. Cards are paywalled? They're not really paywalled at all. I I would pay a lot of money to unlock cards and I can't. They're actually time-walled. There's no paywalling at all. Man, that apocalypse wrecked. 14 power apocalypse. Rebuild your deck looks a bit clunky. I don't have any more cards. I mean, if, if I'm going for this strategy. <laughs> I don't... I don't have any other choices. We can build a different deck. That's maybe a possibility. But there are no other cards that, that suit this. This game plan. Oh, shoot. I gotta be honest, guys. It's, it's day two of Marvel Snap. I'm definitely not looking for uh, gameplay advice just yet. <laughs> Let's give it a day or two to like learn the game before we start trying to to, to, uh, to be smarter than everybody else. It's it's really hard to be smarter than everybody else right now. Nobody knows anything yet. Let's just have fun playing the cards we have and enjoy. It's sort of our brand anyway, and then... Cards played here are not revealed until the game ends. Okay, that's always pretty spicy. Yeah, we can fight for left for sure. Captain America can keep up pretty well. Kazar a buff there too. Armor, wow! Covering for us mid so that nothing gets destroyed. I love it. That's fun. They snapped already, okay. I mean, they do have an advantage in three spots. I kind of get it. I feel like we're gonna win left though, if I want to. Question is, can I pull back right and mid? I think so. Hey, Mrs. Kilburn, what's up? Ow. I feel kind of sweaty or something. Oh, lotion. Okay. Oh. Gross. <laughs> A little sweaty. Uh, okay, so we got a pretty good lead here. Seven feels pretty safe. I could always move a Nightcrawler over too if I feel need, I need to. They're a little maybe overcommitted mid. I think we dump a Medusa here just for curve, right? Yeah, of course it gets better there, but um, we don't need it. I mean, honestly, I could push this to seven and then 10 really easily with Nightcrawler. If I actually want to contest. How do you? So I pull ahead and right, so they have to they have to pay it's at seven nine. We're tied. Spectrum will buff only once here. No, I don't I don't like that as much. I hate that you have to pull cards back in the same order that you played them. I think that's counterintuitive. Yeah, I think we bail out here because the gap is so big, right? Cosmo doesn't matter. It would have mattered if I played Spectrum there. Okay, so we can go Spectrum here, right? Oh, we don't even need to go there. We can go Spectrum here. Because that's locked. I mean, I guess there's always stuff that could buff it technically, but she's buffing too, so it should be fine. I think we snap. 
This feels very good to me, right? I, I don't know. I keep losing, though, when I don't expect to, so... <laughs> it's like, who knows? I, yeah. It's nice only hitting one six drop. That feels really good. I think we're okay, right? I got a lot of those scaling up off Kazar, I think. Oh my god, dude. It's tied, dude. It's tied. I... We tied... Literally tied. What happens? A draw! <laughs> You're kidding me. Is there a different way to play that to win it? And then you can also up the ante by snapping, and that basically doubles the number of cubes at stake. So you could maybe lose four cubes at the end of a game, or two after retreating, or eight cubes at the end of the game if both people snap. So basically a way to kind of control for RNG. Like I got a bad RNG game last game, right? That squirrel rolled like crazy in the mid. So I said, no, we can't really compete with all that free stats. So we're going to retreat at one instead of letting it get to two. So I'd lose fewer cubes, basically. Yeah, everybody says backgammon. I don't I don't actually know backgammon. So yes, but but I don't know backgammon. <laughs> um, Punisher's nuts here. It, it's probably going to be enough to guarantee this, but I may not need it. I don't want to play cards here because we can't after four. Kind of maybe depends on what I draw. Plus one energy this turn. Oh. Okay. Kazar would have been pretty nice, I think. If I, if I overcommit here, though, they might just be able to bail out of this spot. Save this for Captain America, for Iron Man. I can always move Nightcrawler out of here. So I think this is fine. Punisher basically discourages him from utilizing it. And then one's like kind of locked up for them, honestly. And then I can use I can use Iron Man to win mid. And I think I'll win left with Punisher. If they commit to it, right? Punisher helps me win left, basically. Kind of whichever one they commit to, I can... Oh, Scarlet Witch resetting the location. Replace both decks with 10 random cards! Oh, what a delight! I had never seen Dark Doom in my life. Add a 5 power Doom bot to each location. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's insane. That's just 15 stats. That's actually insane, right? I can still put this here because we can uh, we can Nightcrawler out if we need to. This is the last chance. I'm, I'm pretty much always winning here, right? I think, unless they just mega commit or have some way to, to buff, I guess. There's always that uh, iron, I don't know her name, this, this lady, literally. All right, blue marble. So that's locked as far as we know, minus any buffs. But even with buffs, I have a good four spot lead. I think I can maybe just commit Iron Man here and say screw spot three. Although I could also Blue Marvel to shore these up and I could even Doctor Doom and Nightcrawler away as well. So this feels pretty good, right? Do I snap here? I feel like I'm in a really good spot, right? I don't know how to lose mid. They'd have to play something for eight here. Who is Colleen Wing? On reveal, discard the lowest cost card from your hand. Oh, crazy. Spider Woman, okay. I think I just go blue power here to, it, it shores up the entire, your other cards. All of these have plus one. That makes Iron Man insane. This should be totally, totally locked up. I think we, we can't lose here, right? We don't need Doom. Give them the right, who cares? Nice. That was a bot, I think, by the way. I won against a bot. Boop, boom. Did I block out a Doom bot? No, I can always move Nightcrawler over. He can move, so. You could move this over if you wanted to play Dr. Doom here and then replace this with a five, right? But I think Blue Marvel's more total stats is, is what I'm getting at. Only four cards in each section, yeah. So real estate is really valuable. You want to make sure that you don't 
give up too much real estate. That's why cards like Squirrels, although they might seem free, can be a little bit risky. Gosh dang it, dude. This, like, yeah. Normally, you know, I don't want to commit too many one-drops here, but I think with Kazar, I can, actually. I think I can kind of surprise them by committing one-drops here. Domino destroyed. Blade destroyed that. They only have two cards in hand. Cards played here have a 25% chance to be destroyed. Well, we ain't losing this, baby. We got it. We got it all day. Korg. Not destroyed? Nice. Yes. Only one card can be played here. So Kazar is often a pretty good choice for that, I think. We probably like Kazar for that. I think we can contest this spot. Punisher might actually be good to put here because they also want to contest this spot a lot, right? Kazar's not really the best to put there, but I don't have a big, like, you know, this has 10, uh, t this has 10 power or whatever card. Five might be one of the bigger. I think six is the biggest I have with Onslaught, so. And Onslaught, you want to play with other stuff typically. So this would be Kazar if we play it on curve. We could also go Captain America Quicksilver and just play Kazar next turn. Captain America Quicksilver is really going to shore this up. I think it's going to be hard for them to win, actually, if I go that route. It may feel like I'm locking out, but I also can buff with Kazar to gain some stats, which might surprise them, right? I guess I could hold this till next turn, though, because I have five mana anyway. It would only hurt if I drew another one drop, which I think I only have one additional one drop, right? Which is Nightcrawler. So that's pretty unlikely. I think we'll just hold here to maybe surprise them. Or, or at least have choice, have flexibility that way. Because otherwise, like, what's it matter to float a mana here? Yeah, this is 100 power. Whoever has more cards here has 100 power. Which doesn't really matter unless there's a tie. Right? Currently, <laughs> it's going to be a tie over here on the, on the right. Um, so we're winning pretty hard here. I definitely feel like putting Kazar here now to pull us back ahead, so they have to contest this. Then maybe I can just dump Spectrum on the right. I think I can put Quicksilver here too. It's going to give us a really nice advantage, because we'll have two one drops. So I'll put 14, 16 here. I'll be up by eight. Will they be able to complete eight? Actually, I think I'll be up by nine, because it's Captain America, right? So I'm winning both of these, and I'm saving Spectrum basically for the right. I don't have to play it on the right if I don't need to, but I can, right? We'll have to decide. Oh, Ironheart's a good buff, but where does it split to? Okay, so we're tied middle. We've got left pretty much locked. Uh, Spectrum actually buffs Kazar and the left by a ton, so we should put it here. And I'll snap. Because this is going to gain us the advantage here. If they commit here, we'll win right and left. If they if they commit here, we'll win mid. So we're kind of splitting out here, making making these all winnable, I think. I think this is a bot again. I think the dash names are bots. I can only beat bots. <laughs> Which I'm fine with, if that's true. I'll take it, right? Like, I... Uh... Okay, that's... Oh my god, they rolled Iron Man, but it didn't matter because we, 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 like I said, we split them here, so it's all good. What does Snap do? Snap doubles the amount of uh, stars at stake when you rank up. If you're playing Hearthstone, they're stars. If you're playing this, they're cosmic cubes. So I got four cubes instead of two because I snapped and won the game. Yeah, they're 50-50s, but they're also not, because it's it actually is a decision, right? But it certainly feels like there's no inherently better decision, is, is the way I feel about it, right? Like, it feels like a 50-50, because does my opponent have any reason to make one player or the other? It really just depends on what each of us decide to do. So you could argue, well, what were their tendencies earlier in the game? Like, maybe there's some kind of kind of mechanism here, but... Oh my god, dude, we have really good cards in hand right now for expansion. Like, it's nothing bad, honestly. Ant-Man, okay. 
So I need to play, if I get a small thing, obviously, because it's all I can play anyway. Oh, well. All right. I'd be wrong to do this if they have a guardian card that, that deny, like, counters me or whatever. That's your fantastic again, not in the middle. Okay. It's almost, oh, no, this random cards, not random cards from hand. Oh, God, I got to remember that. Shoot, I gotta remember that. It's random, not from hand. I keep thinking it's random from hand, because there's another one that's random from hand. Shoot, didn't matter. It didn't change my play or anything, but... Armor! Ongoing cards this occasion can't be destroyed. Oh, cool. And, and, and Storm is flooding this, so this is the last turn cards can be played here. So I, I theoretically want to try to win this now. But that said, my opponent might say, it's already lost. I can't win it now. So I might just win this for free if I don't. Do you know what I mean? Like I could win this for free. Cause they'll say, it's again a gamble. They'll say, oh, he's gonna win this anyway. I'm gonna give up and, and use my resources somewhere where they're gonna get more value. <sighs> but if I lose it, it's gone forever, right? I don't know. It's a really hard decision. I think it's a bot too, so I can't even really... There's no like easy mind game. I don't know what the bot is tending to do. The bot played it. They played for it. Okay. I mean, we think it's a bot. We're not 100% sure, but it feels like a bot. So good thing I played here. Now we've we've locked this up for the rest of the game. Uh, unfortunately, that means Mr. Fantastic is screwed. I guess we go Iron Man here and just try to win this one off Onslaught, right? Problem is, if I lose Baxter building, I may not be able to outscale anyway with Iron Man. Holy crap. Oh my god. Iron Man outscales this, right? Iron Man's gonna go to 14, then 28, then 56? Is that right? Oh no, he's already at 8. No, 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 no. So it'll go to uh, 28, 28. 28's fine though, that should be enough. I think we'll get it. I don't think they can get to 28. Hope it works that way. I don't even know if it works that way. Actually, it's 8, 16, 32. Why did that say? Oh, I lost middle. Oh God, why does that say 2048? Oh, 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 it's already doubled. It's quadrupled. <laughs> How did I lose middle? Kazar? Oh yeah, Kazar buffed Hawkeye. And I lost middle. Ah, oh, shoot, dude, that's crazy, dude. Oh, well, no, I already lost Baxter building, right? It was already showing three and two. Did I forget to account for Baxter? Oh, maybe I did. I thought it was already, I thought it was already there. I thought I was already winning with Baxter. Maybe not. Maybe that was freshly played. 2K, dude. 